Rejection is just one of the things that I have never, ever been a stranger to. And if you're with me on this, you would agree with me on one thing. That shit stings, my G. It's somewhere right between dragging your balls through broken glass and putting a toothpick in your ear, which would both hurt very, very much. We know how this shit goes. One moment young boy is smitten by infatuation for this little girl. Yeah, once the boy starts showing the girl some interest, this girl curves the... <laughs> oh man. But the mistake that I see most guys make when they realize that they're being ignored is they start tweaking and complaining about how unfair their life is and how she owes you and how she's failing to get you because of blah 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 blah. <laughs> Oh, we all know how this shit goes, man. She don't want you, she don't want you. Beat the hell out of there, my G. Get a live. Sorry if that came out a little bit insensitive, though. I have taken L's like no man's business. Well, here's a story about that. This story typically happened in ninth grade. Generally, my mom and my dad hated my grade, so they thought it would be an appropriate idea to enroll me for these extra lessons as we called them they would always be held after school at a different school of course i didn't want to go but you know how it works you know how it is black parents you don't want to but you have to or else you get your ass whoop my g <laughs> i really had no choice so a week later after school i walked in for these extra lessons and just as I'm stepping on the toes of the door, I see the finest, long-legged, plump-lipped mamacita I have ever set my eyes on. Her skin was dark as chocolate. Her, she had just the right curves at the right places, and there was just something about her. I wanted her. I needed her. I finna have her. And I could swear on my phone. That when I say something about her facial features reminded me about Rihanna, I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it might have been her big forehead, but I don't know. I don't really remember. So I walked up to where I was supposed to be seated. I waved at her and I didn't even look if she waved back. I just waved and looked away. I don't know if it was just a gesture to show that I was confident enough to make contact with her. But yeah, I waved at her and I didn't even see whether she waved back or not. I know, I know, I messed up. That was a bitch move. I, I couldn't make eye contact, bro. I was shy, bro. I was nervous. My mouth was dry. My palms were sweating. I couldn't handle it. Fast forward to Reese's time and the same day she came up to me to say hi. In my head, just that friendly gesture was enough to make me think she was into me or something. At the time, I could easily misinterpret being friendly for flirting. So my heart had its own mind, you know what I'm saying? It was on and off like a light switch. It was love struck in, you know what I'm saying? So as a result, just after she came high to say to me, I, of course, replied with a hello and that's how it ended. But of course, after that interaction, I was like, I'm that nigga. Get out my way. <laughs> I'm a playboy. To three four days go by and the interactions are just the same she comes over to me she says hi i say hello and she dips out i thought to myself hold up i want to switch it up a notch how am i supposed to do this and at the time your boy was already consuming a lot of nickelodeon content which made me think if you want a girl you ask her and then all of a sudden you end up being boyfriend and girlfriend so i was like bet it's tomorrow Next day rolls around, I pick up my school uniform, look all fresh for the nigga, you know what I'm saying? All that confidence at school, waiting for the time for tuitions. Bro, I was so determined to the point where I even carried the perfume in my bag. When we knocked off, I sprayed like a G. I talked to her for a bit. I even sat with her. I asked her if she wanted to take a walk with me the moment we knocked off. Recess time rolls around. I tell my boys to wait for me, right? And then I just go escort this girl. This sexy mama, my future wife to be. I was gassed because my expectations were too freaking high. There we are, walking and talking on the road. I'm feeling my manly confidence. She's being all feminine and funny. So at this point, I'm like, haha, it's go time. I stop her and hold her by the hand. And this is how the conversation goes. 
So, um, Sophia, I've really had fun with you the past few days. Uh, really? Um, thank you. I've had a good time with you too, Kalaluka. Um, yeah, thank you. And I just wanted to let you know that, um, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I, I, I like you. Um, okay, well, thank you. Um, 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 thank you. I mean, I, I like, like you. Well, um, I think thank you. <laughs> this girl just curved me like a dodgeball, bro. This was so uncalled for. I felt so shy. My black skin turned blue and my eyes just turned... Uh. My ego was crushed, bro. So I proceed to ask her, um, do you feel the same way about me? Um, no. Skirt! <laughs> Um, okay, thanks for your time, um, Sophia, thank you, um, I'm dipping out. And that is how I left my EG. And can I tell you something? I really couldn't give less of a f Because later I came to realize that the time I proposed to Sophia was only like four days after we even got to know each other. I didn't spit any game, I didn't make her laugh, I was just being all regular and plus for the fact that she was pretty she was attracting a lot of guys and obviously the thought in my, in her mind was who are you why do you want me what is there with you that there isn't with other guys why should i be with you you know what i'm saying so i didn't even take it that heavily but again it still made me shy so fuck moral of the story never keep your expectations too high because what you think is always different from what you will actually have and if you expect more than you actually worked for i can guarantee you 100 percent you will most likely most definitely be disappointed what's up world thanks so much for watching this video thank you very much for those who supported me from the next video if you haven't seen the last video that i uploaded i would suggest that you do that because that one could give you a lot of laughs than this one actually did so subscribe if you like the content make sure you drop me a like and i like constructive criticism so if you see that something was a little off in my video make sure you go down there and give me a little bit of constructive criticism if you want you can dislike them videos make sure you you know what I'm saying? Just engage with this content. But otherwise, update. I'm going to be uploading twice a week. Every Tuesday and every Saturday. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I love you. See you again at the next video. Peace out.